busting my own ass. <clears throat> so I know what you're thinking. Like, why is a grown man with a teddy bear? It's actually my son's. He's two. Yeah, don't judge me. Such a beautiful day, ain't it? My name is Davin. I create online marketing videos and also I do uh, photography for a different brand. Today you're gonna see how I use my iPhone to take pictures. With this guy. I don't have anybody to model or to be my little moose. So I'm borrowing my son's teddy bear so we can go and take some pictures with our iPhone. Yeah, most of us have these. And I just wanna show you how I get some good qualities. Things you can do. Again, I won't be using any form of uh, crazy photography terms. It's just more so I do it. All right. I ain't got no socks on. Don't judge me. You can't wear these shoes with socks. I know what this It's, I mean, you can, but I choose not to. It's, it's just my style. I don't know if you guys could hear me, but yeah, we didn't make it here in one piece. The three different modes in your iPhone that you could use. So I'll just show you my three favorite modes when it comes on to taking pictures and how to get the best quality. So yeah, I got my man Teddy here. Yeah, so he's probably not in the best lighting, but it's just for, you know what? I'm gonna move to a better lighting. So that's much better lighting. I'm probably out of focus. He's in focus. Uh, yeah, it's it's dope out here. Um, Coral Springs, Florida. So I got my man Teddy. He's gonna be my uh, model. Again, three of my favorite uh, different setting or different camera modes in the in the iPhone X S. There's so many of them I can't keep up. I just like taking pictures. Yeah. So let's get into it. There's an airplane, so. I'll just wait till it passes and then, I'll probably edit it so you're not gonna hear the long wait. I'll probably give you a little piece of what. Damn, it's a lot of planes. Up. So first you wanna access your camera. So this is just the regular photo mode we're in. And what I try to do to get the best um, angle itself, I try not to be too much over whoever I'm taking picture of. Most people take pictures like this, but what I do is I get to eye level. So how the person is looking at me, so I try to get to their eye, or even to a, a kid's perspective. Look at the difference. Boom. Just imagine if that was a model, eye level. Boom, teddy bear, your pad. Oh, yeah, work it, different angle. Is portrait. I absolutely love to take portrait mode. You don't need a photographer anymore. I kid you not. These phones are like having what I'm recording on right now. I'm gonna keep it on natural lighting because we're outdoors, I won't get into uh, lighting itself. But there is a thing called depth of field. What they mean by depth of field? If you notice how the background have this dream effect i love the dream effect so most of my pictures that i do and i'll show you one right now i took on the phone a few weeks ago of a friend of mine hey rochelle thank you <laughs> um dream effect to the background to have a good nice background so they're not standing against a wall they're not standing against a flat so mr teddy he's standing here so say i want to get more of the beautiful trees in the background I'll come here where you see that F all the way up to the top right hand corner in your phone screen. Tap on that. And then you see a little bar down the bottom where you see F 4.5. Just, I'm not gonna get into teaching of that, just know this. The lower the number, the more dreamy the background, the higher the number, the more things are in focus. So I want more things in focus. So now it's at 4.5, I wanna increase it. Ooh, me personally, 
I love the dream effect. So I will go to say 2. Point, mm, let's leave it at 2.5. Look at that. So this is what it mo like most of the time it looks like when you take it against a flat surface. Like in this case, like it, it I see a lot of people do this. I, again, it's your style, it's your phone, you do whatever you want to do, but it kind of defeats the purpose of having or using the portrait mode, taking something against a flat surface where there's like, let's get to Mr. Teddy's face. Increase our little numbers at the bottom because we want to get more things in focus. And then we just snap away. All right, so take a look. That's with a lot of things in focus, like Tristan in the background, not a wall or two dimensional or flat surface. All right, something interesting. Mess around with the small number at the bottom where you see F4 point whatever. Again, I won't be getting into it because I won't be teaching the technical part of it. So just the lower the number, the dreamy effect. The greater the number, the more things in the background will be in focus. All right, so don't be scared. Just get out there and take pictures of whoever. Your dog, your cat, your boyfriend, your sister, your mom. I know the audio is going to be a little bit off. I'm out. I'm only using the mic that's on the camera. My external mic. Hopefully it's plugged in. And my last favorite uh, mode I use, square mode. I use square mode if I want to get really close up to somebody. And I don't want much distraction in the background. Bam, bam, bam. Like somebody needs to adopt Teddy right now to summarize all the way to the top right where you see F. You tap on that and then at the bottom you can customize your dream effect or if you want a lot more things in focus. Just get out there. Uh, don't be afraid. These phones are so, so advanced. Hopefully that's a short video and you're not bored because I know how my attention span is. I have a two-year-old. Very short attention span. Be creative. Low battery. I gotta go home now and edit this for you guys. I love you. Peace, love and light. Be creative and don't hold yourself back, okay? I love you. No, hopefully this fix it. Always be prepared and screw your freaking lens on guys. Don't be like me. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that small tutorial. Oh, I use my iPhone camera as my favorite three settings. Uh, just go out there, take pictures, be you. You're the only person stopping you from taking those good pictures. For beginners, for people just want to take pictures leave it like that so thank you again for watching and thank you so much for the love and support this it's it's a lot and i just greatly appreciate it so much uh again i guess like subscribe share share it with somebody that you want to inspire the only person stopping you from taking those good pictures it's yourself later <laughs> bam bam bam